Okay, so next natin dito is SRTF pa din. And then, we'll be having yung example natin na merong mga idle time. So, check natin kung anong mangyayari dito. Okay. So, by this time, so ganun pa din. So, we'll be creating our gun chart. Ayan. So, this will start at time 0. So, again, earliest arrival time natin. So, doon pa rin tayo titingin muna. So, this will be at 3. Okay, so you have either time dito agad. Now, you have here P4. Okay. Now, next na darating natin is time 8 pa. So, same goes. Dahil 3 lang yung burst time ni P4, pwede natin itong i-consume lahat muna. Okay. So, this will be time 6. Okay, so next one, uh, si P4. So, tapos na yan. Time 8 yung next na darating. So, from 6 to 8, so that will be idle time. Okay? Next. At time 8, so nandiyan na yung P2. Okay. Dahil si P2 lang yung laman ng RAM natin, so automatically, siya yung process natin. Okay, now, instead na idiretso natin itong ubusin yung burst time, we need to stop at time 10. Okay, bakit? Kasi may darating na process ng time 10. Ilan yung na-consume natin dito? So, this will be 2. So, automatically, i-minus na natin dito. So, that will be 2. Okay, so next one, nandiyan pa rin si P2. And then, dumating na yung P1 natin. Okay, si P1 ay merong limang burst time. Si P2 is merong dalawa. So, currently, again, pipiliin natin yung lowest uh, burst time. So, by this time, kukuha na ulit natin si P2. Or kukuha na ulit ni si P2 si P2. And then, this will end at time 12. Whereas, at time 12, may bagong darating na process. So, sakto. This will be 0. Tapos na yung P2 natin. Nandiyan pa rin yung P1. And then, dumating ngayon yung uh, P3 ng time 12. Okay. Si P3 ngayon, meron siyang uh, 4 na burst time. So, unlike dito kay P1 na merong 5, so, mas maliit siya. So, technically, P3 yung kukuha din natin dito. Okay. So, we need to stop at time 15. Okay. So, at time 15, ilan yung na-consume na? So, tatlo. So, matin matitirang isa. Okay. So, at time 15, meron kasing darating na bagong process. So, nandiyan pa rin si P1. Yung P3 natin, hindi pa ubos. And then, yung P5 natin, na bago. Ayan. So, between these three, so, lowest burst time, kita ko mababa pa rin si P3. So, siya yung uunahin. Now, ganito yan. Dahil ubos na yung uh, mga darating na process, so, para na lang tong SJF ngayon. Okay? So, ordinaryo na lang. Now, Ipaprocess natin dito ay si P3. Ayan. So, this will end at time 16. At time 16, so, ubos na yung uh, burst time niya. So, this will be 0. Tig dalawang 5 na burst time. So, again, tayo sa burst time, lower, uh, earliest arrival time. Okay? So, this will be P1. Dahil wala nung darating, so, pwede na natin i-consume lahat. So, this will be at time 21. And then lastly, so yung last natin, we have P5. So, this will be time 26. Okay? So, this will be our gun chart. Now, same, compute natin yung utilization. Okay? So, for our CPU utilization, so ganun pa din to. So, sum ng burst time natin. Okay? So, this will be, check natin. Okay, so this will be uh, 21 over total end time natin, 26. So, times 100. So, this will be 80.77. So Okay, so same nung nakukuha natin dati. Ganun pa din. 
Okay, so ganun pa rin, we need to get the end time, the turnaround time, and the waiting time. Okay, so for P5, so that will be 26. And then we have P1, so this will be 21. P3, you have here 16. And then you have P2. So P2 is time 12. And then you have P4 at time 6. So end time minus arrival. So this will be 11. You have 4, you have 4, you have 3. And then this will be 11. Okay, so turn around minus burst time. So this will be, imaminus natin siya dun sa unang value ah. Huwag kayong mali nito. So this will be uh, 6. You have your 0, and then you have 0, and then you have 0, and then you have 6. Okay. So after that, so we'll be computing for the average turnaround time and average waiting time. So this will be, check natin. Alright, so sum nito, so this will be... 33 over 5 pa din. So this will be 6.60. And the next one, so sum again, so you have 12 over 5. So this will be 2.40. Okay? So this will be SRTF.